Timeless, not affected by passage of time. Um, a lot of times, you, you mentioned Christmas, you know, a lot of Christmas traditions are timeless or something like that. This says classic novels are truly timeless. Movies are sometimes timeless. A song, timeless. You know, even as time goes by, it still has its staying power. It still is important. People still like it, whatever. It's timeless. Number two, stylistically. I think this one's kind of easy. It's just uh, an adverb, you know, to show relating to style. Um, example sentence, the band played the folk song stylistically. He is talking about um, how he is doing something stylistically. Um, it's less linked stylistically. Mm -hmm. Just stylist, style as an adverb. Um, I guess if you have any questions, let me know. That one's kind of easy, I think. Number three, intuitively. So this is based on your feelings. You know, just you use your best judgment. You intuitively know he is lying. You intuitively know... So it can be used in so many examples, you know, if you intuitively know, uh, maybe you don't intuitively know to push the door instead of pull the door, <laughs> maybe not with this one, right? Um, you intuitively know. There's nothing that really tells you just it is your coming from inside of you. Intuition is the noun. Intuition, your intuition. A lot of times, uh, you know, making some judgment based on intuition. You intuitively make that decision. Number four, enhanced reality. Um, I think this is a little bit different than augmented reality, right? Augmented reality is talking about virtual reality. Um, this is talking about enhanced reality, which he's talking about maybe for his films. It's, it's realistic, but it's little bit more um, kind of let me think of an example did you we talked about the movie her right that is really seems like enhanced reality to me it seems really real but it's a little bit more set in the future right or you could maybe say avatar or something maybe I don't know if you saw the movie her you would know what I'm understanding I saw, oh, there's a really good TV show. If you don't know it, I know you always watch Netflix. It's on Netflix called Black Mirror. Mm. And a lot of their, uh, epi each episode is a standalone episode. A lot of their episodes are kind of enhanced reality. What was the one I watched last night? Did you see the one with the smartphone and everyone has like the points? No? I saw season one. Just season one. Yeah. She was, basically this... It was really kind of satirical piece on how everyone is so obsessed with phones and social media. So everyone just had a number score. And so she was like a 3.8. So, okay, she's so-so, but I was a 4.5, so everyone really likes me. But she was a 1.8. No one will even talk to her, and she cannot come into the building, mm -hmm. right? So it's kind of like enhanced reality type. Um, so it's not too real. It, it seems real, like, that's the thing, that's why the word reality is there. You, it really seems real to you, but it's not. It's a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. if you, a lot of times, that's how he's using it. He, we're using it talking about movies, right? Mm -hmm. That is one area where you really will see reality. And he's using, it can be like that. Um, you, it, that is what I think of when I hear enhanced reality, but it can be on a much l smaller scale, right? He says, I like the set to be enhanced reality. You know, the way he says it, it doesn't have to be so everything is enhanced reality. It can just be one or two small little things, you know, it's enhanced. And the word enhanced means better, um, exaggerated, enhanced. Because I, I thought me, it's not super realism, so... Super realism? What is super realism? I mean, too, too real. Too real? But it, but it says it's real, but more exaggerated a little bit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, like the, the examples I was giving. Yeah, yeah. I like the set to be enhanced realities. Just 
little bit better than actual real life, mm -hmm. right? That is his whole point of what he is talking about.